Hello friends, in today's world we know the satellite and its launching. This video is going to present how the satellites are communicated with the earth station, that is satellite earth station. We will start the satellite fundamental first. What is satellite? Satellite is an artificial object which is made to rotate around the earth in order to collect the information and for communication. The, the path, path in, in which, which satellite, satellite revolves around the earth, earth is, is called its, its orbit. orbit. Depending, Depending on, on the type of rotation of satellite, satellite orbits are classified into equatorial orbit and polar orbit. Let us look into the another classification of orbits depending on their height above the earth. Orbits are classified as low earth orbit, medium earth orbit and geostationary earth orbit. LEO rotates about 500 to 900 kilometer above the earth and its period of rotation is 90 to 120 minutes. MEO satellites rotates about 9000 to 12000 kilometer above the earth and its period of rotation is 6 hours. Geo satellites rotates about 36000 kilometer above the earth and its period of rotation is 24 hours. Now we actually see how satellites are communicated with the earth station. Earth station is a collection of equipments installed on the earth surface that enables communication over one or more satellites. The signal from earth station to satellite is called uplink and its frequency is 4 gigahertz. The signal from satellite to earth station is called downlink and its frequency is 6 gigahertz. Note that the downlink frequency is greater than the uplink. Let we go in detail about the earth station. The earth station consists of five major subsystems. The antenna subsystem, received subsystem, transmit subsystem, power subsystem, ground controlled equipment subsystem. The antenna subsystem consists of uh, antenna and duplexer. An highly directional antenna is required for telecommunication and broadcasting purpose. These directional beams are produced by the reflector type antennas. And the parabolic reflector is the most common type of antenna. Whenever a single antenna is used for both transmitting and receiving, an electronic switch must be used. Here duplexer acts as a switch which protects the receiver by high radiation of transmitter and directs the weak receive signal only to the receiver not to the transmitter. The three steps involved in the transmitting the signals to satellite are Step 1. The signals which are to be transmitted to the satellite are taken from GCE transmit unit. Step 2. The received signals are processed in the transmit subsystem. Step 3. The signals are radiated to the space through antenna. This is the block diagram of transmit subsystem. The data from all around the world are received by transmit subsystem through the channels. Then incoming data are multiplexed. These multiplexed data are modulated to an intermediate frequency of 70 megahertz. Since satellite communication requires long distance transmission, the signals are to be with very high frequency. Hence, frequency translation is made from an intermediate frequency of 70 megahertz to an radio wave of gigahertz. by the up converter with the help of local oscillator. These radio waves are strengthened by the high power amplifier. These amplified signals are then radiated to the space by the antenna. Next we shall see the receive subsystem. 
the signals received by the antenna are directed to this receiving earth station. This is the block diagram of receive subsystem. All the received signals in terms of gigahertz are given to the low noise amplifier where weak signals are amplified. The, these amplified signals are converted to the intermediate frequency of megahertz by down converter with the help of local oscillator. These intermediate frequency signals are demodulated to get the original signals back. These signals are demultiplexed and sent to the respective channels. The GCE receive subsystem will demultiplex all the mixed data from various channels and direct them to respective data line. The final block of earth station is power subsystem which supplies power to the equipment. The primary source of power are the standard AC power lines. The output will be various DC power depending on the system need. It also consists of emergency power sources such as diesel generator, batteries and inverters to ensure continuous operation during power failures. So for the presentation explain the concept of satellite earth station. Some of the places where the satellite earth stations are located across the India. Is sky the limit? Limitations live only in our minds, but if we use our imaginations, our possibilities becomes limitless. Thanks for watching this video.